for $31 plus shipping. They are incredible. If you don't know, these old cards can sell very, very well. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for 26 bread and butter bolos, items that I picked up, sourced cheap, and sold on eBay for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. My bread and butter items are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. Let's get started. Okay, I am a full-time reseller, so this is my job, and I absolutely love it. So the first item I sold are these vintage Bandai Power Rangers action figures from the 90s, and I got these out of a thrift store mystery box, and I sold them for a best offer of $34 plus shipping. All right, these are an item that I always pick up. They do range from bread and butter to a little bit higher of a price. Uh, when I say bread and butter, if you only have a couple, you know, you might only get 10 bucks. A lot of people will part these out. Each letter has something different inside of it. It's kind of hard to see from this, but like that one looks like it might have a dog. I found one the other day that had sand in it, which was really cool. But I always grab these from the Goodwill bins when they're in the bottom of the bins. You can see right here that it is not a complete set. Um, unfortunately, it is missing the letter Q, which I pointed the photo. All right. So I sold this one and I sold this set. And this set you can see a little better because they don't have the letters on them. But they're basically sensory blocks that have little figures in them that you can do things with. There's the one with the sand in it. And together... I sold these to one person, the set, both sets, for $65.10 plus tax and shipping. The buyer was all in for $87.26 for tax, shipping, and total of items. So definitely a great item to be on the lookout for. The one set I picked up at, um, this set I got at a garage sale, all of them for $1. And these I picked up at the Goodwill Bins. The next item is this Super Mario Galaxy Nintendo Wii 2000 game case and instructions. And it did have the game in it, but the way I wrote game case and instructions, it looks to me like maybe the game wasn't included. So I don't think my title was very good on this. Um, I probably should have put CIB complete in box or something like that. It sold for $21.70 plus shipping, and I don't recall where I got that. This came out of a dibble box. Um, a dibble box is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And I purchased this from YouTube channel Donatella Bottolino. Actually, I did not purchase this. I actually received this as a gift from Christopher. Amazing steals and deals on eBay. And I will link him down below. So he bought me a $200 mystery dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. I will link both of them down below to include his eBay store and her YouTube channel. She is also selling on Whatnot now, just under her first name, Donatella. And if you guys want to check out Whatnot, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you use that link. So definitely check it out and make sure you follow me, Bolo Buddies, over there. This item flew out of my store. I mean, I got an offer so fast for $14.00 and the buyer paid shipping. I also have a complete unboxing of everything that was in that $200 reseller mystery dibble box. If anybody wants to check that out, I will try to remember to link it below as well. All right, this is a Flitz and Fitz and Floyd, I'm a winner, Charming Tails Mouse. Now these Charming Tails Mouse, mice, we'll call them mice, mouse figurines can do really well. Some of them are bread and butter, but some of them can go for big money. So if you see them, definitely look them up. Most are bread and butter. I got this at a thrift store for $3 and I sold it for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item here was a 
Toys R Us pickup. When Toys R Us was going out of business, I went in and I cleaned up on the toys. Now, the bad thing about this was that everybody was buying the toys and everybody was reselling them online. So this has been a very, very long tail item. This is also probably not something that has been a very popular item. So I probably would not recommend it. Um, I do have one left if anybody collects these. <laughs> it's Light Seekers Awakening Tyrax Starter Pack Play Fusion. I have no idea what it goes to or what it does. Um, I believe I picked this up on 90% off day and I'm just waiting on this last one to sell. I am offering buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon. Vintage Antique Valentine's Day card, lot of four, car, Cupid, Angel, Oops, I forgot the T. Forget me not. <laughs> uh, these are Valentine's Day's cards. And I sold these for $31 plus shipping. They are incredible. If you don't know, these old cards can sell very, very well. Some of them can go for crazy money. I only had four, so I was really happy to get the $31 for these. But just look how incredible they are. They're just awesome. The next item, I'm almost sold out. If you guys have been following me a while, you know that um, I picked these up at a garage sale. I wasn't really sure what I had. Um, I didn't know that they were going to be a quick seller like they have been. Uh, these are wall covers or outlet covers. I have um, the light switch covers and the outlet covers. They are made by Wendell August. If you see Wendell August, definitely look him up. Um, his items do very well. I paid, uh, I want to say I got two big bags and it was around $10 per bag. So it came to about a dollar per item. That's how I'm going to say it. So I have $2 in this one and this one. So one's an outlet cover, one's a light switch. And the buyer was all in for $40 for both of them. Plus they paid shipping. This is a Bun Bun Stacking Plush Orange Cat Mini Stuffed Animal Toy. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. I don't know why I picked it up. I'm actually surprised at how quickly it sold. I do typically pick up anything that has a tag on it that's new old stock like this. But with my plush, I do mark the item as used with original tag. Um, other items, it really just varies on if I mark it new or if I mark it used. But with plush, I do tend to lean towards used with original tag. I sold this for $9.92 plus shipping, and this probably cost me like a quarter. This one right here came out of a thrift store mystery box. They were all kind of similar themed, so I thought I would go ahead and try these, and they ended up selling. It was a little bit long tail. Mixed lot of Christmas ornaments, chili peppers, and cactus. Sold this for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. The next item I pulled out of the Goodwill bins, it's a Ralph Lauren polo case. It's suede lining and it's plaid. And this sold actually pretty quickly. And I sold this for $24.80 and the buyer was all in for $32.22. So you can see right there, it's marked on the inside as well. This was a vintage wood carved animal necklace, but it was broken. But the animals and this is great for somebody who crafts that wants to repurpose this jewelry. So I was really just selling it as is for repair. Got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for a best offer of 12 plus shipping. This is a VTech Touch and Learn Activity Desk Deluxe Expansion Pack. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and it sold really fast for $20 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1970s ideal toy baby doll plush. Um, and she has these green eyes, which are kind of different, right? And when I picked these up, there were writing on like little sticker or not stickers, these little papers stuck to them. So I know where she got this and when she got it, which is kind of funny. And you can see right here, I showed that um, the writing on the doll. I always do that. And then she has this really strange belly button. I'm not sure what this does. But look at her face. Oh, my goodness. Got it for $1.50 at a garage sale. And the buyer paid, offered me $15, and I went ahead and took that. These are vintage Bucilla doorknob ornaments. Anything felt that is handmade like this, I pick up. They do sell. Um, I got these at the Goodwill bins. I did end up taking a best offer of $18 plus shipping. The next item, I'm not going to show you all six magazines, but the person bought six of these from me, varying in different years, volumes, and numbers. 
And they were all in for $73.94. I do have free shipping on these, so I did cover that shipping. Anything that has um, ads in the item, like in the magazine, if it has ads or advertisements, you cannot ship those items media mail. So I did have to ship these out priority mail. The next item is this vintage Pali Island Canadian pin. This came from a thrift store. I paid 50 cents for it and I sold it for a best offer of nine plus shipping. This is a vintage rhinestone pineapple brooch, gold tone color, colorful multicolor. I got this out of a T-Bowl box, which is a reseller box from YouTube channel Auctions for You. I took a best offer of $17 plus shipping on this. I do use a caliper in my videos, um, not in my videos, in my eBay listings to show the size of the item. And, you know, this is just really, I think, more accurate than a tape measure for people. Sometimes I still use a tape measure. But uh, definitely consider picking one of these up. I bought it on eBay and it was super, super cheap and it works great. The next item I sold are these Liz dolls. And, you know, I thought these were going to sell a lot faster than they did. I held on to these for a long, long time. Very long tail. But they have wigs and the wigs actually come off. So if you find the wigs, you can sell the wigs separately or you can sell them with the dolls. But if you see them... It is a nice bread and butter item, but this one just happened to be long tail. I don't know why. Maybe the, this just is not a desirable doll. I have no idea. Maybe it was my keywords, but it sold for $16.24 plus shipping. And I got those at a garage sale, probably for a couple bucks. This one right here is interesting. I had no idea really what it is, and I still really don't. It's a Susan Bates Knitting Knobby, something for knitting. Um, it's new old stock. I got this. I'm not sure where I got this. I can't remember. But I sold it for $13 plus shipping. These are super cool. So this is the front. And then they connect like that on the back. And they are screw back earrings. They're vintage. And I just think these are awesome. I got these for a buck. I can't remember where I got them. But I sold them for $14 plus shipping. The next item is a Bratz doll. This one I actually pulled out of the Goodwill bins. And she is missing, let's see, her hand is messed up. So she was for parts and she had no shoes or feet, whatever you want to call them. So she was kind of a hot mess, but um, I got her from the bins. I knew she would sell and I sold her for $9.99 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. Her head's still good. So somebody's probably going to use the head. Paw Patrol figures. This is a lot of five. And I sold these for $10.17 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And I got those out of the Goodwill bins. This is a Fisher Price Spell and Speak Sea Turtle toy, think and learn, lights and sounds, tested and working. I got this at a garage sale. I think it was a buck or two. And I sold it for $14 plus shipping. These are the vintage Fisher Price Dream House dollhouse. Pink oval windows. These are replacement parts. And I had these listed, took a best offer of $12 plus shipping, and I still have one set left. So this is from a dollhouse that I parted out. These are Avery mini binder filler paper, uh, college ruled 100 sheet. And these came from an estate clean out and I got six of them. So this is a multi-quantity listing, super easy to list. I have already sold three of them. I believe they've sold for $10 each and the buyer paid shipping on those. So anytime I can find new old stock items with a barcode that I can just list really easy, love it. So list it and forget it and wait for people to come buy it. That's what I always say. List it and forget it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you found the channel. Leave me an emoji of about a smiley face. I appreciate you guys and hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.